Wolfpack, Angela Wolf here. We are behind the scenes and last week I missed you, but I had so many meetings all day that I wasn't able to join you, but I did see you on the social side. So say hi, see where you're from. We are live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. And today, if my eyes are a little red, I have really good news. Not that my eyes are red, <laughs> but I got up at like five in the morning because I was on a mission. I only needed like, you know, when you have a project and you have like 10 loose ends and you got to get them together and then everything will be fine. I'm happy to say that the plus size jeans passed all of my tests and all the fittings. So yay, the class will be launching at noon on Friday. So I have been staring at the computer for so long, checking little fitting numbers and I'm done. I'm done being a perfectionist because there still might probably be a mistake. But you know what? It'll be 99% accurate. So, hey, everyone. Nice to see you. Karina, I got your email, too. I will send you a note back um, because I have no idea why that wasn't working. Susie, great to see you. I see everybody rolling in from YouTube. YouTube seems to be a little faster than Facebook. So I'm very excited. This has kind of been a crunch, as you know. Um, not a crunch, but I keep working on it, and then I get discouraged because I'll have one little mistake, but it's finished. So now all I have to do are a few minor details. I'm going to double check the yardage for each uh, set of sizing. And I even included sizing all the way up to 36W. So there's a missus size from 0 to 18, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. I've seen so many numbers today. And then in the plus sizing, which is a different body shape, I have from 16W to 36W. The class will open at noon Eastern on Friday. Now... When it, the classroom opens, that doesn't mean that there will be anything live. So this is how it will work, because many of you have said, well, can I order a pattern? I don't want to print it. Uh, so the classroom will open Friday at noon, and then the class will not start for two weeks then. It's just under two weeks, actually. So the class will be virtual, but for the first two weeks, my mom's calling, <laughs> for the first two weeks, you'll have time to gather your supplies if you want me to print the pattern for you and ship it to you in a tube. I have the tubes, I have the pattern paper, and I can roll it up and send it your way. That will give you plenty of time, and that way when the class starts, you'll have all of your supplies ready. So I am very excited. You can see uh, back here on my table, I am uh, adding some more rivets to a pair of jeans I have here. I think I've actually made five pairs in the time of <laughs> getting this class ready, and now I have a little more denim, so I'm going to be making some more. But I'm so excited. It's finally, and guess what? You know what? There's never a better time to wear jeans than spring, right? All right, so did you watch yesterday's episode? Uh, <laughs> thanks, Arnell. I do have one of your favorite fabrics on, favorite colors. Did you watch yesterday's episode from Brother? Well. It was a lot of fun. You see this panel up here? <laughs> this is what we worked on. Totally unlike me, but I'm completely addicted to piecing this fabric. Not quilting, but piecing fabric for color blocking. So this is what I ended up piecing together. You all voted if you wanted a narrow piece or a wide piece. But then when I put this up like this, I don't know, it seems kind of big for a skirt. So when I step back, I mean, I, honestly, this just kind of looks like a lot of fabric. So now I'm having second thoughts. Now, of course, it would make a great sleeve. I still think it would make a great skirt. But I'm thinking some of you mentioned just doing one panel down the front center and putting black on each side. So what do you think if I were to use like a panel and a half over here? or cut that down a little bit, or maybe just have one panel with black on each side. Maybe just do a little strip on each side seam. I don't know, I'm gonna take you to the table because I put this together, I'm gonna to kind of give you some ideas in case you were following along and you like this. It's just a little bit much for a whole skirt. For me, I guess, for me. <laughs> and I'm not putting it on a bed. I have to wear it somehow, some way. <laughs> oh, thanks, me either, by the way. Great to see you, Liz. I see Ann, everybody rolling in. Great to see you. All right, so I'm gonna take you to the table and then also I'll take time for your questions. And then last, but very not least, I'm gonna make sure I have the link up because you can still enter to, to win the jeans class. 
Um, I think Judy Romano, make sure you check your emails because I sent you an email. But um, two people said that they couldn't quite get, uh, They I don't know if they wouldn't let you in again or something. So I'll double check to make sure that the link is working. I don't think I cut it off, but you never know because the class was supposed to start like five months ago. <laughs> but um, the link is still there where you can enter to win. And when the class room opens on Friday, I will announce a winner for the free class. All right. All right. Let me, oh. Marcy, what pattern are you wearing? I'm wearing uh, the ruched tee with a twisted, you can see the twisted collar. It's hard to see it's twisted because this fabric's kind of fun, kind of different, right? I am, Cindy. I am so glad it's over with. At, well, not over, but for two reasons, by the way. This jeans pattern, I'm going to go back to the jeans for a second. It wasn't just designing a jeans pattern. I could do that in five minutes. I've made five pairs, right? But as you all know, I've been trying to add accurate sizing for the plus size patterns for pants and dresses. I already have the knit tops. We've got that one figured out and they fit great. I mean, everyone, you might need a minor changes, but the pants sloper for plus size, I've had a little difficulty with because there's different options. Like now you still might have to do some pattern alterations just like we do in the misses, but I, it's a, a different body shape. So I'm very happy with it. So you know what that means. Now that I have the pants sloper for the plus size, now those capris that I wanted, the other pair of slacks that I wanted, all of those will come together quite quickly because I have the main sloper for that. So, yay! It's like the happy dance. <laughs> all right, so let's go over to the table, and I want to get your opinion on a few things. Oh, Amy, you the scan and cut for the fabric. I'm telling you, it cut this fabric so fast. So I actually cut one of the blocks out myself because I thought, oh, that'll be faster. I'll tell you what, no way. I put the black fabric on, uh, put it on the fabric mat with the rotary blade, cut, 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 cut. It was perfect. So any of these little notches that were perfect are probably ones that I cut. I'm not saying that I'm not perfect, but uh, you know. So this is how I ended up matching this up. Can you see these chalk marks here? So what I did is I sewed the black fabric to this center panel here. And I made chalk marks right across this line here. So then I could match that up with the, the quilt blocks over here. That's how I got this to line up. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like this fabric. It's just too much for one skirt for me. So I'm thinking about, let's see if I can maybe cut. I was playing around a little bit, folding things around, maybe taking the gray panel out and just using the black. I mean, that's just a little bit different. And that kind of looks cool as one panel. Actually, that looks really cool as one panel. I didn't even notice that till I just did that. Kind of looks like big triangles, doesn't it? I mean, I, it's not that I don't like the gray, but maybe I could use the gray in for pockets or something. I don't know. I'm going to really ask your opinion on this because, as you know, this is not... Well, and of course, I take your opinion, but then I'll probably change my mind anyways. If I were to use a narrow strip, and this is about an inch and a quarter, actually, it's about an inch wide, this looks fantastic. And then I have more black fabric. So I could attach black to this side and black to this side. Now, another option as I was playing with this, by the way, this looks really rich. I think this would make a fantastic jacket, but we're focusing on skirts. Another idea I had was to take this and kind of do um, not really a kick pleat, but I'll fold it so you can see my idea. Well, I guess that is kind of like a kick pleat, but where you have a little bit of the black and kind of angle it so it opens up a little bit, like this. Let's see which way I need to go so you can see this whole thing. 
I got to get this fabric off here. Now, by the way, this is not the brother's show, so I can tell you I bought this fabric at Joann's this weekend. Yeah, at the Joann's in Tinley Park. Uh, it's denim. It's the cutest stuff ever. So some of you had asked me, want to make sure you got my messages back. Okay, now this would be an idea where we have the bottom part on there. I still have my black panel and almost make it like an A-line. So this is just peeking out a little bit. I'd have to center it to make sure it's even. If I were to pin this all the way down, because I already have the black fabric sewn on there, I would just have to basically tack this in place to make sure that this is more of a pleat. We need to put this side down. Then it's more of like not so in your face with the gray. Okay, so now if this is the fabric, let's see if the pattern on the top here, I'll just put this in place. I'm going to pin it so it stays in place. So this would be the waistband up here. And then it kind of comes down. Or does that, is that just like way too out there? Um, let me just grab the patterns. You can see. So if I did this, on an A like that, this is the Kate skirt pattern. If I line this up in the center, it's almost perfect for what I need. I probably could just sew it, take it in a little bit in the waist and sew it. And then that way it wouldn't do any interruption to any of the quilting. So let's go look at the dress form. Actually, first I'll press it. And then you all can vote. All right, so okay, and then if we do this one, of course, I would measure to make sure that these both of these little black sections are the same width. They could even probably go down a little bit more. Let me see if I can just fold that in half. All right, so there's one side. <laughs> Looking at all this geometric, uh, get a little dizzy, right? Okay, so I'll put a couple pins in the waistband. We'll take it over to the dress form. And as you can see, it just kind of opens up. So you'd have room to walk. This is more of just like, a, I, it is kind of like a kick pleat. So this would be the front. And then when you walk, it kind of moves like this. All right, let's take it to the dress form. And I will ask for your honest opinion. Honest opinion. Could be good, it could be not so good, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna go back here. Actually, with that little kick pleat, it's, I think it adds just a little more dimension where it's not just so up and down. It actually matches this top, doesn't it? All right, let me find one more pin here. All right, what do you think? I could even close this pleat a little bit more. Now the problem is, if I do this quilting all the way around it, you know what happens? I'm gonna have to quilt the back too, because you can't just have, originally, I was thinking of just having quilting on the front and then just having it black in the back. I'm afraid that's going to look a little bit weird with all of this. So I don't know.
maybe tack it up here a little bit so it's a little more fitted, and then down there. All right. I know I'm a little ways away, but you can see that. Now I'll come and ask your opinion. Yay or nay? Actually, I kind of like it. It would be very tricky. Like, I mean, you wouldn't wear it everywhere. I was actually hoping it'd be more casual that I could wear boating. Might be asking a little bit much for that, right? All right, so let me see. One panel looks like a target. <laughs> I agree. Jan says one panel center front. The other thing is I could do one panel just on the side. Now I have three panels, so I could cut them apart. They don't have to stay together. I agree, Amy. <laughs> I do need it, Susan. I think everyone's saying one panel is, or smaller blocks. Now, if you, you can download this pattern too, don't forget. It's on Brother's website and Cindy's website. Um, and she did an eight inch, a six inch. Well, I could do any size I want in the software. She even did a two inch because I was thinking two inch would look nice on a Delilah sleeve. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with that a little bit. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. One panel on each side with black down the middle. Now, Tara, that might be an idea to have the panels on the side, then have the black in the middle. That might work. Hi, Clovis. Great to see you. One panel down the center and a half panel on each side. Pat, that's a good idea. Then you have, then I have each side covered. Everybody's saying, I agree. One panel. Hi, Phyllis. All right. So we might just have to do one panel. Oh, Phyllis, I would love to see you in that class. Yay. Finally on Friday. Karen, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. I know you're in the hospital with surgery. We've all been thinking about you and throwing a few prayers your way. Uh, thanks, Karina. Uh, Vicki, you can get into the class. It doesn't open till Friday at noon. So if you have my newsletter, just go to AngelaWolf.com and make sure you sign up for my newsletter and I will be announcing it right when it opens. And I will also be announcing the winner. So there's the website in case you don't know. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Patricia, the more I need the fabric, I think I need some. The black or the other stuff I bought from Joanne's. It's so much fun. So much fun. All right. Let's see. Everyone says one panel. <laughs> Patty, you're so cute. Oh, thanks, Cindy. That was a little embroidery, a little bit of decorative stitching. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's what I said. Thank you, Susan. All right. So everyone is saying that you bet one. Oh, that would be a, it would be a fun jacket with the front panels. Well, did I show you what I'm working on for the next quilt project? Well, I'm going to call it fabric piecing. Here, I'll share this real quick. In case you missed yesterday's show on Brother, I'll share this with you. It's right here. Check this out. So I was kind of playing around with this piece here and let me see, make sure I have the right, okay. I was kind of playing with some different colors. You know, I love pink. I also love white, but that fabric back there that I have is like pink, orange, and yellow. So if I change this up a little bit, see if I can find the yellow. Ooh, green would look good in it too. Yellow. There's yellow. Stop. Nope, this yellow. <laughs> Come back. Here we go. I think I'm moving too fast. This would be another idea. And I thought this might be really cool on the outside of a top or maybe trim on the outside of a skirt. I'm just thinking of this in small pieces, like little trim or increments or something like that. Um, so that had yellow, pink, we had orange. What other color was in that? Yellow, pink, orange. I guess you could really go with any color you want. That was it. Pink, yellow, orange. Maybe 
baby lavender or a light pink. There we go. And I can see what all these look like. I have enough fabric to cut all these different colors out. And this on the outside of jeans or something like that might be very cute. So anyways, that's what I've been playing with on top of the jeans. But the jeans are coming out first, and then I'll keep playing with these fun designs. I got to get my creative mind in somewhere. Uh, Patty, is the fabric too stiff for the pleat? Well, actually, it's just a denim, a very lightweight denim, so it's not too bad. It's, um, I would say, a lightweight denim. The black and the gray, they'd make great jeans, by the way. But I also have pressed it and put a little starch on it. But adding all those pieces to it, it is sticking out a little bit, isn't it? Let me check. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite yet. It sure started cute, and then it's like I put too much in it. <laughs> I think so, too, Angie. You do like that, Deb? Okay. Or another option would be to put all black in the skirt. I think I got it. <laughs> hey, George. <laughs> Melody, that's so cute. <laughs> Tell George to quit talking. Okay, I have an idea. What about if I took all black? I'll take you over to the table. I think I have an idea that's going to be cute. All right, well, we know we don't want this. So let's just start. Let's just cut this baby up. right down the center. That way I can save the black part that I've put on here and use it to attach to something else. I've already cut and surged and I can't really just cut that seam off. You want to know why? Because I've already cut and surged it and then my points won't match up at all. Not that they do right now, but all right. So I have another idea. I know. Don't you think like this took like a half an hour and I'm like all that work. Well, that's part of the creative process, right? If you don't like it and you're not going to wear it, then you better change it. But I have an idea. If this is the front panel and let me cut part of the skirt out. I have enough denim to make a couple skirts here. I actually bought enough in case I wanted to make some jeans, but I think I've already used enough that that's not going to happen. So here's the salvage. Let's see. Okay. So the idea will be to leave a little bit in the front center, make a center front seam. So let me just trim this. So I'm using my pattern, which is, is this the front or the back? Front. I'll leave myself about an inch. Susan, <laughs> your pins really come in handy, by the way. Okay, so this will be the center front seam instead of cutting this the Kate skirt on the fold. Let me make sure that that's about an inch all the way. Looks pretty good. And how long is this skirt? About the same. Okay. This is a weird angle for me to be cutting, but... I 
I did have another idea as well um, of using one of these panels as the waistband. So if I did that and use maybe this center part as the waistband, I think that would be very cute too. So I can cut up these blocks. I don't have to keep them the way that they are. I mean, I know that that's like criminal to do all that sewing and then cut, but hey, if I'm not gonna wear it, I gotta find something else. So I'm gonna cut with my scissors from this angle because I'm kind of leaning over the camera and I don't wanna cut my fingers. Okay, so this is the front. We've already decided there's too much going on, so why don't we just start piecing this together like I would really wear it. So this is the back side, this is the front. X, X mark is the spot. Okay, now here's the front. So a couple different ideas just occurred to me. We could do, because this is a bit stiffer now that you mentioned it, we could just have black with the kick pleat like this. Can you see it better if I put it on the side? Yeah, then you can see the whole skirt. All right, so this would be an idea if we decide to do the kick pleat and just have a little bit of this underneath peeking out. Different. Okay, or I'll angle this way again. Have this as the panel in the front. I kind of like it with using this as almost like a centerpiece. Not that you need a centerpiece in the middle of your skirt, but I kind of like it though. Now this has a lot of black in it. We could also look at the, let's see, what did I, here it is. Here's the one that had more gray. Maybe this would look better in the center just because it has a little more gray. Okay, like this. Why do I just know I'm gonna be making a denim Kate skirt? <laughs> All right, or I can just do the panel maybe on the side. Almost That almost looks like I'm wearing a fly belt. Hmm. This is what I get for staring at jeans all day. Now I can't make up my mind. Oh, Phyllis, what did I do with the, it's in a bin of UFO projects. I, Phyllis, that was, um, and actually it's really funny. I was looking for that because I was, that jean skirt, I really enjoyed, except my quilting was terrible, but it, I really didn't care. It was very cute, uh, but it's in a UFO bin. That was kind of fun. So the only other option that I could think of was maybe cutting these blocks up a little bit and adding panels of just solid color. So it's a little bit more random and not so matchy matchy. Oh, thanks Celeste. <laughs> thanks Shirley. All right, all black and put a panel in the pleat. That's what Susie says. If I put the panel around the bottom hem, I'm just worried, Amy, that that's gonna be, you know how if you have a lot of things going around the bottom or going this way, it just adds, like your eyeball, it adds width. <laughs> Don't wanna add any width to my body shape or my garment. So using a little piece for the waistband wouldn't be bad. I'm just worried that if I add that big panel around the bottom, number one, it's a little stiffer and it's going to kind of be like a bell skirt. Yeah, I think so too, Elizabeth. Oh, can you put the block and put it on a diagonal? Lorraine, that's really funny you say that. Hold on. I did that earlier. Well, now I cut them apart. But when I took that whole panel and put it sideways, it looked really cute. 
it was actually a little bit better. So maybe cut it. Uh, I don't know. I like that though. <laughs> Which one, Marianne? Put your blocks horizontal instead of vertical. Well, I'm worried that that's going to just be too big. Well, I guess they're the same, whichever way you do them. That could be another idea, though. Phyllis likes the kick pleat. All right, you guys think the black with the kick pleat looks okay? <laughs> Thanks, Heidi. Kick pleat with waistband. All right, I'm going to try it. Um, did you make the center quilt looking portion from the denim as well? I did. All of this is with denim. So you can see the backside. It's all surged because I knew I'd be throwing this in the wash. All right. Well, then hold on. Let me go grab this. I'm going to let's sew the black on and see what it looks like. So let's go back over here. Oh, wait a minute. What about if we added, I have gray fabric. What if we added, added like a little piece of piping of gray or something in here just to kind of tie it all in together? Maybe that would be better. So do you like this panel on the inside or this panel? I think this one's like a little bit less obvious. All right, so let me cut a few pieces of the gray. <laughs> you didn't know you're gonna be sitting here helping me with my wardrobe today, but that's why we call it behind the scenes because it's live and you never know what's gonna happen in this show. All right, so let me cut a few pieces of this gray. And no, I don't want a gray skirt. Otherwise I could make the skirt out of gray, but I, cut, I really wanted the black. So in case you're wondering. So let me just cut off my salvage here. Let's see if I need a new blade yet. All right, and why don't we cut this? I'm gonna go one and a half inches wide. These are my ruler panels in case you were wondering what in the world those are for. All right, and I'll cut one more to go on the other side of the skirt. Okay, so how long do we need? About that long. That'll work. So here is the front. I could either add a panel like this with just a little bit of gray sticking out. And then put this behind as just a piece of fabric and maybe even leave it open for my feet to walk. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of like the Romans or something. You know, they had that like one panel in front. <laughs> oh, very different. Okay. But this could maybe tie it in together with this little panel here. So, all right, let's go to the sewing machine and play with this. Okay. That was my quilting foot from yesterday. All right, so this is one of the fronts. If I just add this on the edge and then attach this to the panel, I think this will work. I would probably press this first, but since we're just here and we're live, I'm just gonna sew it to the center of each 
skirt. Okay, sewing, straight stitch, 3.0. I'm just going to line up the edge of my presser foot there so both sides match. I'm just holding this in place, and I'm holding it right on the edge of the fabric. So I would run this through the serger and then fold it back and it gives me a nice piece of gray kind of adding a touch of that. I think Joanne mentioned that yesterday. She said add some gray in there so it kind of matches. I agree. Both of the sides of this fabric look right. I'm hoping that I'm sewing on the right side. I am. <laughs> okay, so this is the right side. I'm going to do this again. Fold the denim, the gray. <laughs> this is funny. This gray, one side's darker than the other. And I sewed two of those triangles in the quilt with the wrong side because both sides look great. <laughs> okay, which one is, here's the center front. So right sides together. I'll just line up my foot with the edge of the fabric here. If I do this center panel, then the back can just be black with no problem. I don't need a kick pleat in the back if I don't want one. I mean, I have enough if I want a kick pleat back there too. I could do the same exact process to the front and the back. It would give it more of an A-line skirt. You know, the Kate skirt is an A-line skirt, but it's more slimming. So let's go to the ironing board and see what this looks like. Okay, so I would definitely run this through the serger because this phrase, but for now, just to see what this looks like. And then this side. Okay, so if this is the center front, and then here's my panel. Oh, the gray definitely ties in with this so much better. That is definitely A plus on there. So by doing this, I'm actually turning this almost into an A-line skirt and just using parts, a part of that quilt block. I'll probably line it up so the hem goes to the bottom. It, I don't even have to do a kick pleat. I could actually just sew this in place. And that looks pretty cool. Um, better angle. I mean, I could actually go like this. which then we get more of the triangles. I feel like the pyramid in Egypt, but <laughs> it is kind of cute like that. So maybe I could do that and just attach it to the front. So I still get a few of the triangles in there in place. 
I think this is a winner. I like this. Okay. I think that's going to be it. So I'll put some pins. We'll drape it on the dress form real quick just to do a last final check here. And I think I'm, I'm not even going to make it a kick pleat. I think I'm just going to attach this right to the quilt block. I can just do a nice top stitching down here. Then I don't even need to run it through the serger until I finish the back side. And then I can still see some of my triangles, even if my points aren't perfect. Nobody will be looking that close at my skirt, I hope. And then this side, Let's see if I can, that one's a really bad one, but that's okay. I use a little Sharpie, <laughs> use a Sharpie and make my, my little triangle point perfect there. Oh, nobody would notice, right? sure these are even. I definitely think we have a winner with this one though. So it's not the full quilt block. It's it still has a little bit more of an angle to it. And then I'll trim all of this off up here. Of course, I will measure and make sure that this is exactly symmetrical. But let's take it over to the dress form and see what we got. All right. No pins in my mouth. I'm terrible at that. Pins in the shirt instead. All right. So this is the idea. We step back. Yeah, I'll bring you over here just a little bit to the dress form. Don't get dizzy. Okay. Here we go. I just put a pin in my shirt. Where did I put it? Here it is. <laughs> And a pin here. I think that this is like much cuter. Now that's pretty cute. And I could add some more gray to it if I want. I could add a panel in the back or just leave the black, the back black. And this, I'll have this all cut off. Just have a nice hem of black at the bottom. I think that works. I don't know about you, but that's much better. We are on to a better, <laughs> a better place with this quilting project. So, all right, I'll come back over and read your comments and questions. <laughs> I'm much happier now. Whew. What do you think? <laughs> Marty, I agree. That one might be a wall hanging by the time we're done. Oh, front pockets would be cute to have a little trim. That would get a little extra too. I know, Nancy, decisions. Uh, Miss Marine says, on the diagonal. <laughs> uh, there we go, Janice. But it's fun making your own fabric, though, right? I think it's very, because it's very similar to quilt blocking. So it's not technical as far as, I would definitely not consider myself a quilter, but I love making fabric. Cindy says, keep the waistband solid. I could use, though, a little panel as piping, and that would be okay. <laughs> I'm reading all of yours. Way too many options. I think so too. Hey, Darlene, nice to see you. I think, did you just have an anniversary or a birthday? I cannot remember, but whatever it was, happy birthday or happy anniversary. <laughs> a gray waistband would be cute too. <laughs> 
I agree, Marianne. But no, lately I've only been waking about over my jeans pattern. Now I can move on to something better, right? At least we'll have jeans finished before Easter, which will be great. Oh, Charlene, you tried the Shishiko stitch. That one's very, very cool. Hey, Josie. Nice to see you. Uh, and the blocks are, you can download the block on Brothers Blog and um, the one that I am that I have here. And Cindy put it in different sizes. I think there's 8 inch, 6 inch, 4 inch, 2 inch. Cindy's on here so she could tell you. And also you can go to Cindy's website, CynthiasEmbroidery.com, in case you can't find it. She should have it there too. Nailed it. Oh, thanks, Livy. Oh, good, Helen. I'm so glad you got the rulers. I, I agree, Karen. This is more simple. Like this, I could wear to dinner with a cute black tank top or maybe a black sweater, depending on the weather, black boots. Um, for summer, I could dress it down a little bit with some black heels and maybe a Delilah. I've got a black Delilah, so then it would be the top would be kind of loose and then the skirt is tailored. I think that's going to be great. I agree, Heidi. Thanks, Josie. <laughs> I agree, Melody. Oh, that's good, Shirley. That's good. Okay, you guys are loving it now? Whew, I am too. I actually, it, see, and this is how when I start designing, and I don't know about you, but I'd love to know, when I start going through like something in my head, fabric is what makes my design. I could sketch all day long and have a gazillion outfits for you. But if I can't find that fabric to go with it, it's useless. So when this quilt challenge came for brother, actually Cindy and I are the ones that came up with this and I fulfilled my duty because uh, I failed Cindy on the Christmas sweater. I'll get you back for that one. <laughs> but this one, I was like, oh my gosh, but it was so much fun. And it's kind of addictive to make your own fabric. Again, my points aren't perfect. But to design your own fabric and play around a little bit, I think this is its just like color blocking. It's fantastic. So for this, when I started, in my mind, I originally I was thinking a black Delilah with this block in a two inch going down my sleeve, which would kind of tie this in, actually. But then I just couldn't find the fabric I liked. And then all I was thinking was gray, black, and maybe a touch of white. I couldn't find the white denim that had the same weight as this. So I really like the gray and the black. It's very, uh, very classy, very classic, very um, not, you know, not my usual like bright and crazy. Something that I would probably wear. That was the thing. Oh, I do too, Trudy. <laughs> I know which waistband. You know what I might do for the waistband is I might do the same thing as this. Do the black waistband and then do a strip of gray to kind of tie everything in. I could also add, I could add pockets right here and use gray as the piping, which would kind of bring in a little bit more, maybe do an angle pocket, which would add a little bit extra. I want to keep it pretty simple. I don't usually use pockets in my skirts anyway, so forget that. We'll do the gray and the black for the waistband. That will tie it in together. Oh, thanks, Josie. Okay, now get me going. I'll be adding embroidery to it and everything else. But this looks, I think I think we've got it. Uh, the gray and black denim. I bought that at Joann's this weekend as well. I actually have black denim, but it was a little thicker than this. So I think I still have three kinds of denim left. They'll be listed in the classroom too when the jeans class opens up. Thanks, Paula. <laughs> there we go, Patty. And thanks, Joanna. Design opportunity. <laughs> you want to reverse my grays and blacks. That would look good too. <laughs> Charlene wants it on the side. Well, I have two more panels, so I could have two more skirts. All right, thanks. Everyone says that they like it. Go download the pattern. And it, it took me maybe to do all three panels to cut and sew about two hours, I want to say. But I also had a few interruptions, so who knows. And I let the scan and cut, cut for the, the rest of it. That made it much faster. 
Jennifer says pockets with the must with the gray piping. I think it would be cute. I don't know. I, um, I'll play with it. But once I cut it, then it has to stay that way. Thanks, Stacy. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Miss Maureen. <laughs> Uh, will the skirt be too long? So this skirt will be, because um, I'm pretty tall. So on me, I want it to go right to my knee. I'm thinking this style just looks better right to the knee. I mean, I could go with like a mini skirt too, but I'm really not into that right now. So if I make this to the knee, this would be the waist. See, then I could have it just below the knee and then I could add some cute flats to it. So the, I think this is the winner, winner, winner. And so what I will do is sew this down. I'll have to serge the inside edge then and it'll just be one panel. It's not even a kit pleat. Might be the everlasting skirt if I keep adding stuff to it. Hi, Marion and Debbie. Okay, Connie, I <laughs> you have to check your emails because I've sent you a few emails and you might want to check your spam folder, just so you know, because I've sent a few emails back. Otherwise, you can try calling me. If you go to AngelaWolf.com, there's a phone number. I think so, too. Everybody got their rulers. All right, any more questions for me? Well, that's true. You know, actually, I bought that extra. I bought black and gray fabric in a really cool knit. So I will have to make some tank tops. Oh, is it already 2.30? My alarm just went off. I was like, no way. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, is one of those fabrics a suede? No, they're both denim, Karen. They're both denim. All right, I think I got all of your questions. Did you see the squirrel that just passed? No, Melody, are you serious? <laughs> I do have some nuts outside, but <laughs> okay, that's just funny. That's like me every day while I was working on the jeans pattern. Squirrel? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, this fabric is black and gray denim. Both are denim. It's like a light stretch denim. I don't carry those. I bought them at Joann's. Now, I do have other denim on my website, though. Uh, Paula, the denim from yesterday's show was from Joann Fabrics as well. I kind of hit Joann Fabrics in Tinley Park. They have some pretty good fashion sewing fabrics. I will, Renee. I'll post some pictures. Oh, my gosh. You are all hilarious. How did I miss the squirrel? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, all of you saw the squirrel. <laughs> this is so funny. It's, he wants to come in and say hi to you all. I told you. Did you name him? Because there's a few different squirrels. They all have different names. Uh, Deborah, I sold out of this fabric. This is all gone now. Um, and I don't think I'm going to carry it again because I'm going to. Oh, my gosh, you guys are killing me. <laughs> Oh, curve fake pockets might look good. I agree, Betty. That might be good. Hey, Judy. Judy Romano, check your text message. I sent you a text and I sent you two emails. You know, I think I have a feeling that some of the emails, because I sent a newsletter from my email, they might be putting them in spam. Susan, I never checked the corduroy to see if it was hand dyeable. I should send it to you and let you test it. I think it should be, but I'm not positive. Um, this denim has some poly in it. Yes, it's caught, well, a light, a really small amount. I think it was like 98%, 95% cotton, a very little bit amount of poly. I like that a little bit because then um, it won't wrinkle so much. All right, Judy, I'm going to call you then because I did send two emails. I sent one last night too. So for some reason, you're not getting them. All right, Susan, I'll let you test it for me. <laughs> I'm going to have to go rewatch to see which scroll ran by. All right, everyone. So the class, the jeans class is launching Friday at noon. I will send an email out 
Uh, if you were not able to get into the contest, so that's what I was talking about, about Judy earlier. Let me just give you a link real quick to make sure that it's working. Here's the link, and let me just make sure it's still on. I don't think I turned it off. I wasn't going to turn it off until the class launched. No, it's still on there. And you, um, you, you can only enter the contest once. So this contest has been going on for like a month or so. So if you've already entered, that's why you probably can't enter again. Hey, Peg. Oh, I like your new sign. Thanks for your message, by the way. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it, but I will. I know. So the jeans class launches Friday. Now, by the way, it's virtual, so you'll see all the details in there. Uh, Friday is not going to be live. It just means the classroom opens. So you'll see all the details even before you sign up of what the schedule is going to be. Uh, you don't have to be live for the classes when the virtual parts because the, the replay will be in the classroom. So if you're like, oh, I really want to take that, but I'm going on vacation when the live sessions are, no worries, because you'll be able to watch the replays. All right. Okay, I just put a link into there right here. There's the link for entering the jeans. You can only enter one. So if you've been trying to enter and you've already entered before, that's why you can't get in. And on Friday at noon Eastern, the class doors will open. That will give you two weeks to see what supplies you need, download your pattern, and then the virtual classes will start in two weeks from that point. Um, and then I think that's about it. If you have any questions, though, you can always message me. And at noon on Friday, I'll announce the winner. Who gets the class all right lastly i replied to just about every email i could find there was a ton and some of them got in my spam as well but if you won something over the last month or so and you did not hear from me be sure to send me an email with your address okay because some of you i didn't have your information and if i didn't see your email or you didn't email me uh, i didn't get it and i have a few prizes here that have not been claimed and I don't want to have to give them to somebody else, but I could. All right, everyone. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow at noon. Uh, brother, if you would like to catch the show, another quilt to fashion challenge going on. And then next week on Monday night, I will be joining Joanne on her YouTube show. So that should be fun. All right. The squirrels again. I'm going to have to go watch the show to see which squirrels out there. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Hope you're doing well. And talk to you soon.